Right, so here is the second WD, no, sorry, WX5100 AMD Radeon card. I'm going to install it and run it in the crossfire mode. There's the card. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find an available slot. And it's important to look at the thermal characteristic of your case. In my uh, in my situation, I've got a fan that is blowing directly here. So that is why I'm going to put the the cards next to each other. And then I'll have to open up this spare bay over here. Might be a good idea to, uh, to think about a gap so that these cards have room to breathe. So in my case, I'm going to install it on this, this last bay so that it has space to breathe because I don't want there to be a heat trap here in the middle. So I'm now going to open this last bay. Right, so there we have, there we go. We have the two Radian Pro WX500s installed. I'm now going to run them in the crossfire mode. And one thing you should note is that just because you've installed two of these cards does not mean that you can then utilize both these ports here. You see the ports here, it now has four, what do you call this, display port. And therefore display port, but you will not be able to use the second card the one that is in the uh, Crossfire mode it becomes almost redundant these ports you can't use you'll have to just use on the first card you installed Right, so now it's time to close up the box Okay, so as you can see I have to the two cards installed a uh, funny thing this was the original card and all the display ports were connected to that card one two three four now when i tried to boot the computer it did not work i could not get any display coming through so what i did is i unplugged all the display ports and tried a single display port on the new card and guess what that's where i saw i was able to log into the bios so you might have this problem it might be dependent on the uh, order of the the cards in terms of which uh, PCI slot you've used. But anyway, I'm not sure about that. All I can tell you is that once you install these two cards running to run in crossfire mode, you might have to look at changing the setup in terms of which uh, monitors are plugged into which card. Now, something I have been told is that this card, if you're using the the display ports on the one card, the other card becomes redundant. I did try and plug in some display port monitors in here and nothing happened. So I'm just going to blank them off so that nobody tries to plug in there uh, erroneously. So I have now my four display ports connected up with four monitors and I'll show you what it looks like on the front end. Okay, so this is my basic setup. I have four monitors full hd this is a 4k monitor but what you'll find is when you do uh, get your computer to to uh, to uh, start up you'll find that the graphics are all stuffed up meaning you'll see that the resolutions are all the 600 by 800 and everything will be stuffed up give it time mine was able to self-correct or it took about three minutes and eventually it went back into the correct uh, monitors in terms of which is number one two three four so it actually put itself back into the correct order so it obviously was able to get that from the settings of uh, that I had set up in Windows okay so now I'm going to test the, the crossfire option on these two cards and measure and see how much better it is right once you have the cards installed and everything up and running you'd want to set the crossfire mode you'll have to go and set it on the AMD Radeon Pro and AMD Fire Pro settings. This is the control panel. If you haven't got this, you'll have to go and download it. Now, you'll see all your options here on the top. You'll want to come here and you'll say global settings. And then in the global settings, you will see two cards. You see there's the one card and there's the other card. 
and you'll notice that the one card has the AMD Crossfire while the other card does not have the AMD Crossfire. So you can set up individual settings for each card but here you'll come to the what let's call it the master card because master slave this seems like it'll be slave and this will be the master and then you will say AMD Crossfire on. Just a, a, um, a note to you that when I did confirm it my computer did <laughs> it did uh, crash because all the monitors went dead but subsequently after a reboot I've had no problems you can put it in the crossfire mode and then what you'll see is on the uh, task manager you'll see your two GPUs now see there's the one card and there's the other card so you'll see your two cards here and some programs for example if you're using sony vegas doesn't actually allow for the crossfire option and i do have a video that uh, that does um, show the performance difference once you use the crossfire and one of the reasons is it says here gpu acceleration of video processing you see it's asking for which card uh, it doesn't actually utilize the crossfire function so what's supposed to happen depending on the software you have some maybe mainly gaming uh, you'll see that the performance will be considerably higher so anyway so that is how you set it up and that was the point of the video you will then just say confirm i don't want to press confirm because i'll lose my recording for now and then you can confirm and you can always switch it off as you can see mine is off at the moment and that is how you set up the AMD Crossfire. It does not require any bridges like the other cards where you actually physically connect card one to card two. This is not like that. It's done on the software. All right, so I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching. Cheers.